Omegle is shutting down. Is this why Harry Mack ended the Omegle Bar series? Now, if you haven't heard, it's true. Omegle, the platform, the video chatting platform is being shut down. And to make a big summary of it, it's basically because of nasty behavior. Now, if you know the internet, if you know Omegle at all, uh, you know that Omegle has a history of being kind of where the, 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 the EDPs of the world uh, go and find victims. So we're going to read this. I'm going to try something different. Watch. Ah, look at that. So y'all can see this. We're not going to read this whole thing. If you want to, you can go to Omegle, the website, and read it. The creator of Omegle will put this up. Um, let's just point out some of the paragraphs. I already know what it says, but let's point out some of the paragraphs that I want to talk about. Okay, because Omegle, I feel like, affects my channel a lot because of Harry Mack, and I think this has something. Okay, so he said, I launched Omegle when I was 18 years old and still living with my parents. It was meant to be a building. It was meant to build on things I loved about the internet while introducing a form of social spontaneity that I felt didn't exist anywhere. If the internet is a manifestation of global village, Omegle was meant to be a way of strolling down the street. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so basically he's saying he created Omegle for people to connect with and talk to each other with. Understood, you know, that that makes sense. Then we'll skip down here. He's talked about the premise of Omegle, how he built it. He didn't really expect over anything. And over the years, all the good it was doing. But then here we go right here. Unfortunately, there are also low lights. Virtually every tool can be used for good or evil. True. And that is especially true of communication tools. True. Due to the innate flexibility. All right. The telephone can be used to wish your grandma happy birthday, but it can also be used uh, and to call a bomb threat. There can be no honest accounting of Omegle without acknowledging that some people misuse it, including unspeakable heinous crimes. I agree with him to a certain extent, but I also feel like he's deflecting a bit because, yeah, the phone can be used to um, do good or evil. But let's just say there was one phone company, right, that uh, didn't restrict the age of anybody who went on it or said, oh, 13 plus supervision, which is nothing. I mean, plus permission, which is nothing. Let's say there was one phone company and this one phone company built a record in history of every time that somebody clicked the FaceTime button, it was an old nigga, or at least seven out of 10 times it was an old dude touching himself. If over the years, actual crime started being committed from this one cell phone company, people will ask for it to be shut down. That's the, the metaphor. And I understand that, you know, there's bad stuff that happened on Twitter. There's bad stuff that happened on Facebook. There's bad stuff that happened on YouTube, TikTok, whatever. But I feel like those sites are a bit more regulated and they don't have the, 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 the uh, what's the word? reputation of being a place that harbors those people. Now, I do understand what he's saying. Anything could be good, used for good and evil. But the second you start being branded under the evil part of the good and evil use, you kind of have to go. If there was a car that seven out of 10 times it exploded when you put the key in the ignition, you could say, well, anybody could die in a car, but that one car is something going on with it. But okay. Um, let's, let's scroll down. Uh, 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 okay. So he said, he also said, let's go back to this. So y'all can see what I'm reading. Y'all see how I switched up the cam. Uh, the edits is dim. Your boy moving up in the world. Uh, he said, I believe in a responsibility to be a good Samaritan and a way. Okay. Let's, let's go down to here. Uh, Omegle's moderation even had positive impact beyond the site. Omegle worked with law enforcement agencies and national centers for missing and exploited children to help prevent evildoers, it, put evildoers in prison where they belong. There are people rotting in prison right now because of how they helped uh, because of Omegle. Now, here's my thing. Beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I love seeing the EDPs of the world. That's why I call them now. Being, um, you know, missed being done foul. I love I love it. I love it. Here's the thing. <laughs> How many people? And after a while, don't you have to start questioning yourself? Damn. Why is it? It's like uh Goku. I'm going to get real nerdy for a second. You remember when I think it was after 
sell. Goku said he didn't want to come back, right? And why did he say? On one of the dubs, at least, he said it was because he seems like the evil is always coming because of him. So after a certain amount of time, you got to start going, wait, why are there? How, how do we have such a cachet of EDPs in the world that we can help throw this many people in prison? Is there something wrong here? I think there is. I think there is, right? It would be like, you know, I don't even need the metaphor. Yeah, nigga, there is. It's good that you're doing that. It's a problem that you can do that probably as much as you have. But um, let's get to this. All that said, the fight against crime isn't one that can um, ever truly be won. It's never ending battle and must be fought and refought. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to skim through this one. You may be seasonable dead. Okay, basically saying you can't ever beat evil. Yes, you, that's true. I uh, uh, agree with that. Just like he said with superheroes, always, even superheroes, fictional, keep fighting the same bad guys. I get it. But there was the Legion of Doom that was being created on Omegle. I ain't going to lie. Y'all remember some of my old Omegle bar reactions? I used to be like, man, this feels kind of weird. And hadn't you noticed that a lot of the people Harry Mack were rapping for seemed underage. I always thought that that was a weird thing. And I always felt like Omegle should have just been for adults. Like, everybody knows Omegle was a site that creeps were on. Everybody knows that. Okay, so he said, in recent years, it seems like the whole world has become more ornery. Maybe this has something to do with pandemic or political, whatever. Whatever the reason, people have become faster to attack and slower to receive. That's true. One aspect of this being constant barrage of attacks on community service, Omegle included based on behavior of malicious. Okay, but you have to understand, creator of Omegle, there is, if there is one thing that we all as a society, as human beings come together that we don't like and we will fight against, and you can call it as Karens, you will call, it's children being misused. Yeah. So you're going to say... It seems like every woke, okay, woke crowd, snowflakes, but it's harder to throw that around when what they're trying to do is stop children from being abused. It, I don't think this even, this whole political climate, I don't think that works here, bro. I think whether you were in a red or a blue tie, I think you both come together. And if you look at the overall what O'Meal is known for, you would probably want to shut down too. Um... Oh, okay, then he goes back. Comment below if you're loving these uh, new edits. I, yeah, I was going to do it regular, but I thought you all couldn't be able to see uh, the ver uh, the words. So, Omegle is in direct target of these attacks, but their ultimate victim is you. I hate how he switched that around. All of you out there who have used or have used Omegle to improve your lives and lives of others, when they, da -da -da, say, when they say Omegle exists that shouldn't exist, they are saying that you shouldn't be allowed to use it. That you shouldn't be allowed to meet random new people online. The idea in Anthema, to ideal, I cherish it. Anthema, I don't know that word. I usually know a lot of words. I'm a pretty decent reader. Spe uh, specifically to the bedrock and principle. For okay, so basically what he's doing here, I super disagree with. I think this is kind of a weird take. Because what he's trying to do now is spin it around and be like, Really? It's not them trying to shut my site down. It's them trying to attack you. No, it's not, nigga. No, it's not. We're going to be all right. <laughs> I promise you, every nigga going to be all right. Right? And that's why I also think, I don't think Harry Mack just, one, I don't know if Harry Mack was ever super duper comfortable with how Omegle ran 100%. I'm glad he kind of stopped doing Omegle. And I'm going to keep it tall. Just because he stopped doing Omega doesn't mean he stopped doing Omega bars. But it's like, bro, this is an attack on our... I get what you're saying about censor, but you're trying to act like this is a censorship thing. It's not in a censorship thing. It's not a thing. Your, the reason why your site... Because he's saying that a lot of sites are being attacked. But, but the reason why Omegle is being... I could go ask a random person on the street and I could give them three websites and say, what website are you more often to see a creep on? Omegle... Twitter, or Instagram. And I bet you, if these niggas know all three of them platforms, they're gonna pick Omegle. Now, I understand what you're saying where this could be a, a, a slippery slope and whatnot, but honestly, I think this here is the exception to the rule. Um, I think that it is, it is, it is, it's, 
Although all websites have creeps on them. I mean, look at EDP. Where EDP do a lot of his creeping. Twitter, YouTube. but And the whole Elsa Gates stuff. I, I, there's creeps on YouTube. But it seemed like it's a bit harder to get to the children with those sites than it is Omegle. You literally just start and it's a random dice roll of who you going to see. It really is. Y'all remember that one specific Omega bar is when uh, it was the dude who looked like he was super old laying in the chair or in the bed with his shirt off and the beard and the girl who looked young. And I was like, bro, there's something real creepy. First of all, it was the fact that it was Omegle that made me feel weird, first of all, because I know that the restriction and regulation stuff isn't that great. Second of all, it was the fact that what my eyes were seeing were... So, I also, going back to that phone metaphor... It would be like if Omegle was a phone that ran, anytime you click the button, it randomly dialed somebody and you had to hope uh, uh, it wasn't a, a pedo. Because there's there's literally whole people who used to do YouTube content. Watch this. Watch this. Let me just show y'all something. I want to show y'all something. Hold on. Now, a lot of this is going to be about Omegle shutdown. Now, shout out to Penguin Z. I watched his video too before I read the whole thing. Now, watch this. A lot of these videos are going to be about Omegle shutting down, but let's get to the videos that aren't. Watch this. Just watch. Follow along with me. Uh, I'm sorry. They be, they be just recommending stuff that has nothing to do. Okay, now watch. This is from three weeks ago. Catching Creeps on Omegle 4. 4. This is the fourth installment. 4. Okay, there are people who their entire content was creepy Omega. Hold on. Now, there's a few of them you get like the horror faces, but do you know, I guarantee if you ask Harry Mack, yo, how many, how much do you have to edit like creeps out of your Omegos? I bet you, you would be shocked. Uh, hold on. Man, YouTube's, I'm sorry, the, the way that they show things now are so stupid. Look at how many of these don't have nothing to do with Omega. I'm trying to, I'm trying to show old Omega videos this shit is, is baby face trolling. That's weird. All right, well. All right, okay. Well, YouTube did me wrong there, and they didn't really actually. Do, <laughs> I typed in Omegle. Most of these videos are going to be Omegle shutting down. But what I was trying to show you, which I did show you in the beginning, was there's so much creep content on Omegle that it eventually became a meme. So, like I said, all the people who did Omegle, um, I'm sure you guys will land somewhere else, find something better. Um, and Omegle, even though I do agree that the censorship is bad on certain points, and though I agree to some of the stuff you're saying, I really do feel like if you guys were doing something to try to stop the EDPs of the world, you weren't doing it well. Because at, there's people who made whole series about creeps on Omegle. And do you know how easy it is for kids to get on there and immediately see a creep doing something immediately inappropriate? So I'm not mad at this, but, you know, shout out to Harry. I really only did this because of Harry Mack. Hey, there's a lot of other platforms. Wherever Harry goes, I'm following, bro. Yeah.